What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It's your boy, Rio Robinson, back with the latest and greatest on the Rambler with Rio YouTube channel, where we ramble about the Washington Commanders. Day two of the NFL free agency tampering period hasn't been a busy day for Washington, but some key departures and some fan favorite guys are on their way out. <clears throat> this morning, we found out that backup quarterback Taylor Heineke got a two-year, $14 million deal to join the Atlanta Falcons, and now We've released our guy, J.D. McKissick, the scat back, the utility Swiss Army knife running back, J.D. McKissick, who chose the Washington Commanders over going to Super Bowl contender Buffalo Bills last offseason. We released him, and what was an expected release because he's had back-to-back -back years with neck injuries. I'm just hoping the guy's okay. I'm not sure if he's going to be resuming his football career. Still has a lot. He still has football left in him if his body will allow it. Neck injuries are no joke and nothing to play with. So first and foremost, I'm hoping as a man, he is fine. His health is fine and his health checks out because, yeah, man, you don't play with neck injuries. That's a guy who had 80 catches a couple years ago with Alex Smith, a guy who really made our offense tick at one point. At one point, the offense went and – went and died as J.D. McKissick did on the football field. When he was out on the field, the offense was much more expansive. Scott could get in his bag more. So Washington will be in the market for another running back, regardless of if you want to hear that or not. Antonio Gibson is coming up on a contract year. I don't pay running back, so I imagine he's gone after the season as well. And Brian Robinson is in year two. So definitely expect Washington to – Maybe give Jarrett Patterson some more run in the offense, but definitely expect him to bring in a guy via the draft or free agency. The enemy could be looking to bring in a guy like Jarek McKinnon, a running back that did numbers in that Kansas City offense this year. There are a lot of guys out there. We're rumored to be interested in a trade for Austin Eckler, but I don't really believe that rumor. I don't the, the guy from ESPN Simon or whatever the hell his name is. The guy has like 900 followers. So I don't I take whatever he says with a grain of salt. Nor does he have a check mark. So I don't think he has the information or is privy to who we're interested in as far as trading for someone like Austin Eckler. That really doesn't feel like a feasible move. I like the player. Would love what he would bring here. I don't really see that, but JD's gone, man. Our guy I know my boy Jalen's sick inside because that's his guy. I hate, I love what he brought to the team, but he's out the door as well as Taylor Heineke. And Washington surprisingly fired a coach today. They relieved offensive line coach John Matsko of his duties today. They said he, I, the timing of it's weird. Not that he got fired. He was a good coach. He's been with Ron ever since Carolina. He's one of Ron's day ones. So Ron making this move right now, and the timing of it, it's after we made all these other hirings on the offensive side once the enemy was brought in. But the O-line was shit last year. Is that all the offensive line coaches' fault? No. And I was reading something Ben Standick was writing about that Matsko was kind of a yes man to Scott Turner's bullshit when he was here. I cannot confirm nor deny any of this, but that's some of what I was seeing. Ben Standick of The Athletic was talking about that on Twitter earlier. But I'm interested to see what we do there. Do I really care who they hire in this position? No. Just get the O-line better. Have them protect our investment, which is our young quarterback. Are they going to promote from within? Travell Wharton, another former Panther. Uh, Travell Wharton, is he going to get promoted from assistant O-line coach to main O-line coach? Are they going to dig into the Kansas City pipeline? I doubt Heck is going to leave that job for a lateral position to go from Kansas City to Washington. But the assistant, Corey Mathai, he's someone that could be interested in the job and a promotion. Are we going to go get Eugene Chung, a guy that worked with Andy Reid for over a decade as an assistant O-lines coach and tight ends coach for Philadelphia? Are we going to are we going to uh, promote Juan Castillo, someone that we brought in the building last year? He's the assistant tight ends coach. He has plenty of years experience as an uh, offensive line coach as well. I don't know what we're going to do there, but the timing of it is just strange. We signed a couple offensive linemen. They're like, you know what? Uh, we're going to move in a different direction now. I wonder if this is an Eric B. Enemy call or a Ron Rivera call because I know Ron is loyal to a fault to his guys. So him actually pulling the plug on one of his day one brothers tells me that there is a strong new influence in the building. And 
Eric Bieniemy may be choosing these guys himself. He is the assistant head coach and not just the offensive coordinator of this team. So I'm interested to see what we do at the offensive line coach position and what we do with the rest of free agency. Tomorrow, officially, the free agents news is official with the new signings and you can announce them. Like for people saying, oh, why haven't the team posted about the guys we've signed yet? We're still in tampering day two of free agency. Official free agency starts tomorrow. The 15th, March 15th, Wednesday, March 15th, kicks off free agency officially. So then you'll see all the teams saying, we acquired this player. We signed this player. We claim this player. That's when everything can officially be announced. That's why you don't see teams posting all this propaganda about the players that they've recently acquired. But would like to see the team go after a tight end. I would like to see the team do something with Logan Thomas's contract. If you're not going to write out, release him or post June one, cut him restructure that shit. I'm watching all these contracts league wise be chopped up and teams are creating all this money. And it's like, why can't we do that shit? Why can't we do some of that? Make some more salary caps so you can do some more things. Yes. You were active in free agency yesterday. You're allowed to pursue clear upgrades at positions as well. And I see some guys out there that this team could target. Go after them. Don't just be happy with what happened yesterday. Get shit done. And they tendered a qualifying offer to uh, all pro special teamer Jeremy Reeves. They're looking to get a long-term multi-year deal done with Jeremy Reeves as well. He deserves it. Special teams ace. He's our Matthew Slater. Get that done as well. But don't expect anything big. I could be wrong about it. And if so, I'm going to come back and say, look, look at me, wrong as shit. But don't expect any splash signing. Don't expect an Orlando Brown Jr. Don't expect a Mike Gesicki or Dalton Schultz, which I would love because I really think we need a dog tight end one here. In a historic looking tight end class, they'll probably choose the draft over signing a guy in free agency. But man, a good established starting veteran tight end like Mike Kosicki would bring joy to my life if we were to bring that in the building. But I'm not really sure what the approach is at this point because everything's been a surprise to me so far. But, Ron, I know you got to get a quarterback. We know you're going to get a backup quarterback in the building, a Chase Daniel, and Andy Dalton, a Jacoby Brissett. Well, I don't care who it is. Just bring one in the building. Get that done. Hand Sam the keys, and let's get it rolling. J.D. McKissick, you were a real one. You chose to come back to Washington after you verbally agreed during the tampering period to sign with the Buffalo Bills, a Super Bowl contender last year. And for that, I will always appreciate you, my guy. Get well, get that neck right. And if it's meant to be, continue your football career. If not, it was a real one while you were here. Best of luck in your endeavors elsewhere. That's all I got for right now. If anything else drops, your boy will be here. J.D. McKissick, gone. Taylor Heineke, gone. John Matskow has been relieved of his duties as the offensive line coach, and we'll see what comes next. Until then, hail to the Washington Commanders. Rio, out.